Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most white boy 7 Street. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a stroll down memory lane and taking a look at the classic Call of Duty Black Ops 2 five years later. How's it holding up in 2018? Honestly, this is one of my favorite all time Call of Duty games by far. It's a really solid, well put together game, and I think it still holds up compared to Call of Duty World War II because it has game types like One in the Chamber that we're playing right now. Such an addicting, fun, fast paced game mode. I love One in the Chamber. I don't know why they don't bring it back to these recent Call of Duty games. And the only thing they have in World War II is gun game and then they take that away from us. This game also has 9v9 Ground War, which is so fun and a personal favorite of mine. World War II doesn't have ground war, and we just got bad news on Reddit that they're not going to add 9v9 ground war in the foreseeable future because the engine and maps can't handle it. I mean, this is unbelievable. They're even getting lazy with their excuses. That's a piss poor excuse. This game that came out November 12th, 2012, has more content, has 9v9 ground war than Call of Duty World War II. It doesn't make any sense. And Maybe that's one of Call of Duty's biggest problems. It just ran out of cool release dates. I think one of the coolest things about the Call of Duty trailers at the end, it said like 11, 10, 9, and you thought they were counting down, but that was actually the release dates. Uh, by that theory, the next good Call of Duty game is coming out November 22nd, uh, 2033. So there probably be some suckers still buying Call of Duty. I love one in the chamber it's tied up right here i missed the no scope panic knife them 75 to 75 like look at this game that why don't they bring this back it makes no sense to me but it's probably a good thing because it keeps the old call of duties a little bit alive so let's talk about the state of call of duty black ops 2 in 2018. By the way, we have an epic battle. It's 80 to 80. We're tied for first place. It's me versus him. My knife's not working. I don't know. He's out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. How do we miss right there? Makes no sense, but this is why I love one of the chambers so much and I miss it. And it was so fun getting back into this little duo right here. And how I finally kill him is so awesome. Look how he falls off. Oh, his body just flops. You gotta give me a like on this video during the final kill cam for that epic duo when the pressure was on a 1v1 determining the champion. Look how I kill him. I, I put my nuts on his face first, slice him in the back, throw him over the boat, get him out of here. We have a two for one video extravaganza. I put the opening clip of me surfing the lobbies just to show how many people were online. It looked like there was 3,000 people on multiplayer, which is okay. Probably more than Call of Duty World War II at this point, to be honest. And it looked like there was another 3,000 people playing zombies. For me, it's a little weird stepping on the battlefield for the first time on the Xbox One because these people are level 18 prestige with little glowing guns and stuff. I'm just unlocking the MP7 Red Dot. I have no attachments, I have no perks, and I really honestly didn't play that much Black Ops 2 on the Xbox, but right now I got the Xbox One X, and I'm sorry PlayStation Nation, it hurts me to say this, but the classic Call of Duty games are just flat out better on the Xbox 360. They were made to be better on the Xbox 360, and with Xbox One X, you can easily play them with backwards compatibility, which I like, and I prefer the PlayStation controller over the Xbox controller. I prefer the PlayStation over the Xbox, but I still got it on the Xbox controller with that AN94 jump strat to keep the streak alive. That's gonna play a crucial role in the outcome of this match. Just keeping the streak alive right then and right there. So even though I prefer PlayStation, it's just so much easier to play on the Xbox One x because there's no hackers for the most part even though i did run into one one hacker uh, during one of my first games some kid saw this uh, the hacker had like a name that would switch colors over and over and he had a clan tag that was like animated or something and he was like hey can you do a double xp lobby and i actually you know i was kind of siding with the kid because i'm level five and i need to rank up look at that look at this play right here 
I throw the stun through the door automatically, I get the frag, to get the triple kill, we're working on another streak, and I'm just feeling really good right now. You know, I, I like this game, this game's a good game. I like Black Ops 2, what happened? What, why, why did they go away from this? So, here's the lightning strike, we're playing 6v6 TDM, and I'm gonna get a total of one, two, three, four kills with the lightning strike. Let's go. It was actually getting kind of a close game. It was 26 to 22, but Big Daddy came in with the lightning strike from above, and now we're pulling away from the pack. So like I said, this is raw gameplay from Black Ops 2 in 2018, and we're gonna see how the servers hold up because I'm going to have a few hosts migrate on me, and this kill is a little questionable just because I just killed that guy, and there was a a teammate behind me holding down that line of sight so I have no idea where he came from maybe just because I just killed him he knew I was there and he like rushed me with the knife from what I can tell for the most part compared to other old Call of Duty games this seems to be pretty much hack free like old Call of Duty games people are invisible invincible here's something weird here look at look at the kill feed it says someone left the game and then this email Sacrifice is renamed to Eagles Lax Bro, and then Eagle Lax Bro is connected. Um, that was just something weird I, I saw while commentating uh, this video, and we're gonna show the slow motion of me shooting the shit out of that desk. Come on, I mean, I am on the Xbox controller. I need to, need to work on my aim a little bit. At least I got that guy out the uh, out the middle PowerPoint right there. But one thing I gotta say about Call of Duty, I really like the leveling up system. Like, this game, I get a few attachments, and I actually was really looking forward to them, because I'm melting these people by myself, hip-firing. But now that I got the laser sight, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Now, right here is a, another little predicament that I'm, like, I'm, I'm into the game. Like, I'm commentating about, like, every little, like, little fights right here. I knew someone was there. That's why I did the jump shot. Call of Duty World War II, and something about that game is, like, mind numbing don't get me wrong for the first 45 minutes i enjoy myself but after that i start to drool on myself and i don't know how to describe it but i'll play for a while and then i get a good moment and then i'll just like in my potato state of mind i go huh. that that's how mind numbing it is in my opinion but let me know in the comments down below what me and my boy extra should play next he hit me up, he said, white boy, let's play a classic Call of Duty. I said, okay, let's do it. Look at how I'm playing right here. I'm jump shotting, I'm pre-firing. I know someone's coming this way. Boom, and then connection <laughs> interrupted. And look at this dude just like hobble up and down and dance. It's hilarious to me. So yeah, x -Jaws, he hit me up. He said, let's do a, a collab on some classic Call of Duty. So I looked for my Xbox 360. I couldn't find it. And I kind of told him to get an Xbox One, but he said, no, let's get an Xbox 360 so I can play Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, which I really do want to play, but it's a lot easier on the Xbox One X, and I can't find my Xbox 360, so I don't know, maybe Sam could do a giveaway. He rigs it, dust off the pool table, let me win that, or I gotta find it in a garage sale or something, because I looked online, they're like 200 bucks, 150 bucks new, and then used, I don't, I'm not messing with yous really unless I can plug it in myself. Here's a tip for the people watching the video. 9 minutes and 22 seconds in. Sell your games on Amazon. Don't sell them to GameStop. On Amazon, you get a way better price. You're gonna get at least two quarters. You're not gonna get a quarter from GameStop. You get two quarters on Amazon. No, but if you sell it at the lowest price, someone's gotta buy it usually within that day. And I, I've seen my copies go for 10, 15 bucks of like just regular random games so that's a, a better way to make some money yes you have to ship it and stuff like that but you can charge you know you can charge for shipping uh sometimes but uh that's just a little pro tip right there for the people supporting me i want to say thank you guys for the nice words on the video that i made the other day uh, revealing my swatting story moments like that where i break down and i open up um it it means a lot to you know to see those comments in action to see you guys there for me it really meant a lot and i don't know what to say other than thank you uh, the comments 
you know, I, it, made, it made me happy and it made, made my day and it made a few of my days, to be honest. So I want to say thank you again. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me and Xshaws to play in terms of classic Call of Duties. Leave a like on this video if you're still watching. I appreciate you guys. And until next time, I will see you later. It's been your host with the most white boy seven. Fucking holding down the fucking big house like some big bitches. That shit ain't gonna fly. Bag. Oh man, the whole team's in there, man. The whole team's in there, man. You know what I'm saying? The whole team. I don't know why everybody else is like not in going into this building, because that's where they are. <laughs> care package inbound. No, they're not getting that care package, eh? They're right where we want them. Counter UAV inbound. That's my building, eh? For the cause. Yo, that's my building. You wanna stay inside that building, you gotta pay rent. You ain't got the rent money, you got to go. You suck, buddy, go. Oh yeah? You went, you yeah. went, where did you go? Where did you go? Yeah. Okay, okay. So if I suck, what do you do, buddy? <laughs> you must get down real dirty. <laughs>